All right, so we're going to start with Batania. They are the most natural to be a two-handed weapon carrier. And we're going to make ourselves a little mini-man. We'll just test out the effectiveness of having a smaller man compared to a tall. And then we're only looking for vigor and two-handed. And we'll fill the rest in later. So we're going to have a ton of points. This is our man, Little Chad. Banner Lord, everything's top difficulty. Just leave it that way. And we need to get away from Maranath. They don't have any wood. We're going to go over to Sanon to start with and craft ourselves a two-handed weapon just to start off with. We're not doing any anything other than civilian fighting, so we can drop these off. We're not going to do any fighting on our horse. Get rid of our starter gear. We need a little bit of hardwood. Let's do some refining. Some smelting. And let's see if we got anything good other than the starting stuff. Doesn't look like it, so no biggie. Decent swing speed. Hopefully we don't get dinged too bad here. Okay, it's spread out pretty far uh, among all the, the different ones, so we didn't get hit in any one area too bad. So what we're going to do is equip this thing in our civilian, and then we need to go find out where all the gangs are. So if you hover over the notables in the town, it will tell you whether... Uh, they're, you know, like a merchant in this case, or an artisan. We're looking for the gang leaders. These guys are the ones that have the option of owning different alleyways and putting their gang uh, members there. So this one has Backstreet, Clearing, and Waterfront. And the number that's in the parentheses tells you how many people he has with him. So if we go to fight, the first stage of fighting is going to have a certain fraction of that. So usually between one and, say, three or four. And then the second stage, you get everybody else, plus the boss. So Red Eye for Cred is going to be in there, and he's got some really good stats. So he's not to be messed with. He's fast. So anyways, what we're going to do is we try and find where these locations are. So let's go ahead and do that. And before we start, let's go ahead and allocate our points, because I keep forgetting to do that. And actually, what we're going to do is balance this out, putting some into Endurance. And we'll take a little bit of medicine, because we'll probably be getting hit a lot. And some charm. These are kind of irrelevant for this, but we'll try it out. Alright, so first thing first, let's find out who's close to the top of the mountain. That's going to help us uh, save some running time. So it looks like we are actually here with her, so we'll just keep going back to her. The back street clearing and waterfront were what we're looking for. And if you hold down the alt button, it'll show you where everything is on the map. That's pretty helpful in the cities. So I can see three, and I see a fourth down here. This guy's a beggar, he's just gonna run. So let's section off this guy, he's the, he's by himself, so we can get rid of him first. And to get them to fight, you do middle and top option. And then you start swinging. canceled. Or we'll just finish him off. Very important to keep moving backwards. Moon will buy you time. And we're not going to attack right away because that one has a lot of people in it still. And we don't really want to do that. So let's go back. Clear it out again. So there should be less people in here this time. And I see only two. So that's a good sign. And again, same thing. We're going to pick off this guy by himself. And then we can fight this one, 1v1. And it's a one shot. And I think if we do that one more time, we'll be in great shape. All right, so there's two here again. Right, those guys were pretty high level, expert thug. Fortunately, they didn't chamber block us. Uh, there might actually be one more. No, there's three still. Yikes. Okay, well. 
Let's do it again. I don't think we want to fight four versus one either. The, the problem, if it was a bunch of low levels, no biggie, but the problem is the bandit boss is in there too, or the gang leader is in there, and she has, I don't know, I think it's like 200 and something melee skills, and athletics is probably not too far behind that either. Okay, so expert thug, expert thug, this is tricky, so swing and let's get out. We don't want to fight. One in front, one behind, so let's compose ourselves. That was kind of close. I actually blocked in the wrong direction there, but I caught it at the last second. And I think now there'll be one. Perfect. So it means at this point is there's one person there. We defeat him this time and we wait. Then we're going to fight a one versus one against the, the gang boss. And that's exactly what we want. We can take her out with without a bunch of his buddies around. Then that that makes a big uh, a big difference in how easy it is to do it. So let's just okay, he switched his attack on us. Yeah, that was a master thug. He's usually got some some pretty good skills. All right, and hopefully it's just the one now. That's what my my hope is. Well, we do have swing speed increase, so that's good. Yep, it's just going to be us. I challenge you to a duel. And again, it's it's not a rush. You can take your time as long as you know how to block. You'll be all right. Definitely don't try and fit in too many attacks. It's better to block a couple times and then attack when you feel comfortable. If you miss a block, you're toast. But if you miss an attack, it's not a big deal. You can keep fighting. So this is going to wipe that one off the map. So there's only two left. And we picked up a decent amount of gear. Uh, we could try that's okay i think we'll just stick with this one this weapon that we have for now uh, i don't think it's a big deal sell everything take our money we still have 18 days of food so we don't have to worry about that and we're still pretty much day one so let's do it again All right, this time we'll do back street yeah let's just do back street all right so there's three here well, luckily that one walked away, so now we can two versus one this guy. Okay. We hit the side of the mountain on that one. That was very unfortunate. We got defeated by the environment. <laughs> okay, that is five left. Let's do it a couple more times. That's the risk you take when you do any of those overhead or, or thrusting. They're either really slow or they can... Uh, sorry, it's safer to do overhead or thrusting because it's pretty easy to smack stuff with your with the side swing. And we don't have our weapon out, so let's wait. <laughs> Much easier now. And down to three. All right, there. Yes, there's two, so that's good. Wow. We whiffed that second shot somehow. It did like 19 damage. I think one more, and then we're there. And then when we fight the duel with the bandit boss next time, we're barely gonna have to scratch scratcher and then he's dead so because uh i don't think there was enough time to heal yet master thug we will wait around this time and again we should be able to get a one versus one here again with somebody that's got almost no health we just need to not get smacked. 
we can do that, we'll win. Apparently he healed a lot more than I thought. I've got some more Thymeskine steel. And wow. That velvet's worth quite a bit. Okay, we got one more to deal with. And I think on this one we're just going to go straight for it. Let's just wait around. I think we can handle it. So it's a one versus six. We do have to use a different technique here. We're going to be doing a lot of running. But that's okay. You got to do what you got to do. And she's the first one out the gate. So that's not ideal. She's going to catch us. Ooh, this is not good. We're making some pretty risky plays here, but we got lucky. So we'll take it. Oh, got her over the top. Yeah, because our weapon is so much more reach, we can get away with that. Uh, that didn't work out. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Reset. Reach somebody over the top again. Looks like it works. Alright, it wasn't pretty, but uh, we did it. So as long as you're a little patient, you can run. Uh, it'll work out. Oh, a lot of stuff here. That's not bad. Alright, we're already over five grand. And we're only a couple days in. Uh, we don't need food just yet. So let's go ahead and head to a different town. We're going to need to be careful here. We don't want to get caught. Alright, it might be a little different scenario here. Let's see where the gang leaders are. There's two of them. Alright, so this looks like it's the same set up as the previous town, so we'll just keep using him to come in. Alright, let's try it out. Oh boy, that was close. Yeah, that was pretty close. We got lucky on a couple of those blocks. I don't like this setup, so we're gonna just immediately run. Give one whack and then run. Alright, that's much better. Alright. If you get them to bunch up and kind of run into each other, that helps a lot. Because then you're only dealing with one at a time. And he's still got six there, so it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Actually, I forgot to check. We did level up, so let's go ahead and put our movement speed. We're going to put another point into endurance. Like I said, we just want these to be even. And mine as well. Top out charm. We can start with this guy. There's only two. So they do back up over. I was gonna say if we can fight them maybe single file, that would be nice. Alright, they do get stuck right there, so that's kinda cool. I'm worried about them climbing up on that hill, but so far they haven't done it. Okay. And staying close to this edge, they all seem to hit the, the wall, so I don't have to worry about blocking from that side as much. Although I'm glad I blocked that time. <laughs> that one would have hit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so they can go up the hill. They just choose not to sometimes. Alright, 
To hell with you! <laughs> Alright, down to two. We gotta be real careful here. Uh, come back. Come back here. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That is definitely not what I meant to do. <laughs> Whoops. Ooh, we faked her out. All right, that was very close. We've got almost no health left. But we did pick up our third perk on two-handed. See what we got. Oh, I'm almost up to seven grand. Uh, I forgot to check. Do they have? Okay, so this is a nice two-hander, but it is way too expensive. We can't afford that. I would like to upgrade at some point. And we do need to pick, uh, we'll go with the knockdown chance, and then we'll put more points into medicine. Like I said, that's not going to make much difference, but it'll help us heal up a little faster when we level up that skill, so. Alright, what's next? So there's two left. We've got almost no health, but that's not really an issue. That's not what I planned on doing, but that's what I did. <laughs> but we already had no health, so we don't lose anything. Just try it again. It's the second time that you gotta watch out for. If you die on that one, then you're wasting, uh, wasting money and time. Dog just died. That's interesting. same issue on the stairs that we do is they go really slow so we can get a few hits for free or at least that's the theory I don't know I'm kind of making this up as I go oh this actually works pretty well just do a merry-go-round if I just jump off. Oh, this works pretty well. Just find the stairs. Alright, we're down to one. Let's not whiff at the last second. There we go. Wow, look at this. Got a party going on over here. A lot of gear on this one. Should be some good money. Alright, what do we got? We could try and smelt some stuff and make another weapon, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we'll just use what we got. 1300 on that one's pretty good. Plus, I think you get about 500 when you actually defeat them the first time. Take some renown. What are we at anyways? 31? We're at day 6. That's not too bad. I don't like this setup, so we're going to get them to run out. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're a little spread out now. I don't mind that as much. Especially when we knock them on the ground like that. Oh. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> it like fast forwarded through the end. It's almost like the AI rage quit or something. All right, eight, eight people to deal with here. This is going to be a tough one, but we did it before. I think we can do it again. She's in front. That's not a good sign. We'll get him to split up a little bit. And hopefully we can get some of these lower tier guys first. Right, that's a good start. Let's keep moving. Okay, they're all there. Nobody got behind us. Yeah, nobody's behind us. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, she's not doing too good. Ooh, that was close. We shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, we got we got the main lady. That's your skull. That's a big big help. Now we just gotta not fumble the ball. Let's get back to a spot where we're comfortable moving around. We're hitting everybody once before we down them, I guess. <laughs> They're taking turns. Wow. Yeah, we've literally hit everybody once, so it should be easy to down a lot of them at this point. What in the world? Wow, I gotta watch the replay because I had my block down. Maybe I canceled it at the last second, but nonetheless, we got it. So we picked up another, what is it, athletics level? Some charm too, not bad. And we don't have any armor, we're not going to be wearing armor, so we're going to go handling increase. And this town is effectively cleared out. So that's good. And we just got to sell some stuff so we can not be overburdened. Alright, so we made it to Dunglana safely. Let's uh, go in. There's some big, big groups here, so it doesn't really matter which one we start with. They're all going to be pretty rough. Hopefully we start near somebody. The back street's right there. Uh, we actually spawn right next to waterfront. Clearing's far, so we can use this one for two. Two different groups. Let's get a little bit of room. I want this guy. He's the fast one. Apparently he's a uh, matrix dodging everything. <laughs> All right, that'll work. We can work with that. And we're gonna wait. So we got nine left. Let's probably do that a couple times. Just whittle them down. We're so close to the entrance, so it doesn't really cost us a whole lot of time. And I feel like I'm going to end up dying a bunch just going straight in, so. Our swing speed's picking up some steam here, so it's, it's much easier. The, the very beginning is always the hardest part. So once you get past the beginning, you get a few levels under your belt. Then it becomes, uh, I don't want to say it becomes easy, but it becomes easier, at least. And again, we're not really risking anything. Uh, as long as we don't die in the second stage, we don't lose anything, so. Let's see, 
see, what does that put us at? Four? Alright, so we'll be able to go in on this one. Three people. Let's see what we can do. I think we can handle it. So close. I almost missed two of those blocks. Almost, but we didn't, so. Let's sell off what we got. And we're up to a little over 10k. Or almost 11k, rather. Uh, nothing to level up here. So we're in pretty good shape. Alright, there's one more near this guy. Let's clear that one out real quick. Six. I think we can do handle six. Yeah! We can draw him single file here. You are done. One more, nice. We got the we got the bandit boss. So assuming we don't do anything stupid, we should have this one, but I can't promise that. Ooh, that was stupid. <laughs> wow, these guys are blocking everything. There we go. Show down here underneath the bridge. Okay, that was a lot more difficult than I thought it was. But we made it. Right, let's go ahead and sell. Wow, not bad money. Let's go ahead and do. Let's see. Let's go check out the brewer, see if she's close. I feel like I saw that next to it on the map when we did the alt. Okay, yeah, so it's right here. Ooh, they stopped me mid-swing. We are not going to re-engage because that is very close. So I think we'll just do this a couple times. Alright, only three this time, so they're feeling it. Alright, we did hit level 100. Again, the perk's not really going to help us, so we'll just ignore it for now. Now that puts us at 6 out of 8. I think we can go in now. Alright, let's try it. It might still be too many, but that's uh, fine. Is it five? Okay. We did six last time. Not that that means we're going to do well this time, but... If we did it once, we can do it twice. Alright, I do like putting myself on a corner. Get away. Oh, that's not good. The bandit boss is right there, which is. Luckily, we took him out. Okay. I think we're starting to get, get into a rhythm here finally. This is. This is good. It just felt a little bit easier than the, the previous ones.
don't uh, I don't think we're gonna wear any armor. We could. This is all civilian stuff. Oh no, that's not. So, I mean, it's decent armor, given how light it is, 2.2. But I think we'll do this whole thing. We'll do the whole challenge naked. That's fine. All right. How much this time? Seven sixty. And again, we cleared out another town. Let's take stock of where we're at. So we got another. Again, it doesn't really matter. That one's kind of irrelevant. We'll put another one to medicine. I would like to hit a couple more levels here. This one's not going to help us. That one's going to help us quite a bit if we can get to it. I don't know if we can, though. It's We're already at day 10. So so let's head up north to Carbanseth. All right, so this one's owned all by one person. So... Barely got out of that one. And we took out the bandit boss. So I think we can just circle from here. Oh, well, we're still getting hit somehow. These guys are really tanky. Wow. Okay, we took a hit, but it wasn't too bad. I think it was one of the maces, and they must have been at the end of their swing, so we tanked it. And now we're up to 16k. And day 11. Play ring around the rosy, I guess. Wow, that guy dodged. <laughs> that was a lot of hits he dodged. Nice. We got the leader. I thought we got hit there, but luckily we missed. Well, it looks like uh, playing around the tree is a pretty good idea. I think we'll use that next time. Ooh, this is a juicy one. Look at all that. And we gained a level. Not that it helps a whole lot. We'll put it into endurance. So athletics takes forever. And then we'll cap out our medicine. I whiffed both of those, knocked them both to the ground, and I missed them both. I think we'll stick to the tree for now, that seemed to be pretty good. I'm sure there's other spots you can kind of mess with them. The pathing gets a little weird. Oh, 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 that's not good, we got stuck on a rock. Uh, they're starting to circle around, so we gotta be careful here. Oh, we knocked her down. For him. I think it's a her. Got her. Stay down. Wow. This tree is fun. mic over for a sec. Alright, so we got some decent gear here. 1500 almost. And 
doesn't matter. So this town is effectively cleared. We need to go to the next town. I don't really know this city. I don't know if it's the same setup as the other ones, but we'll see. Okay, so there's one right next to us. We'll just start with this one then. Oh, that's a traitor. Let's get out of this little alleyway. We can't even swing it. Sorry, chicken. Six, not bad. Not bad at all. We should be able to handle six. Okay, I don't know... Die, you bastard! I might be catch him a little bit on this ledge. Yeah, they don't like that ledge too much. <laughs> oh boy. It's just us now. Oof. I blocked the wrong way on that last one, but I backed up in time. Well, that was pretty close. We did get hit a little bit, but we survived. And that's all that matters. And we've got a lot of Thamaskine steel. I wish I was doing a smithing playthrough. This would be kind of nice. We'd have enough to build maybe one or two. Give a quick thrust and then. Oops, not even that. We hit the wall. I haven't really found a really good spot here. There's no tree. We'd like to find a tree. This ledge was decent. We can try that again. It would be nice to, nice to find something a little bit more reliable. Like I got too close. Have a seat, son. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. So I guess we could just bait them back and forth. <laughs> Come get some. Come get some. Alright, well, we took a hit, but we did okay. I think we found our spot. We found our tree. Yeah, I'd, I'd pay good money if we can get a decent two-handed sword, but it doesn't look like there's anything on the market. So there's two. I don't really know where they're at. I think one of them was close to where we spawned in last time, so we could just try that one again. Oh, we got her. And we got out. Oh, we got in like a... Snuck in like a bandit. The bandits got bandited. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. 
Alright, let's man up with this guy. Alright, that was... That was pretty good. <laughs> Sent her to the floor and stabbed her. Alright, let's sell this booty. Only 800. That's not really good. We're, st we're stuck on something. Uh, what we were stuck on, but that was pretty annoying. We got hit because of it too. Something right here. I don't think it was this. I feel like it was something else. Now we gotta be careful. That's not good. Careful, we got the sword on us now. See you in hell. All right, we gave her a good hit. Very nice. Okay, this was one of the tougher ones. I had to really take my time on this one. Hopefully we get some good money out of it too. It looks like it's not bad. Yeah, it's not that good. So that's everything in Batania. We cleared out all of the Batanians, took us 17 days. So we need to head somewhere else. Maybe we'll go down to Sargo since it's the closest. Okay. There is a lot of people in that one, so. Uh, not too bad. But we can handle five. We can do five. We got a nice big open spot we can try and circle around. See if we can get him to corral a little bit. Oh, they're just gonna smack us. To the death, sir. Oh, well. That didn't last as long as I thought it would. Alright, Sargo giving us poo poo for beer as well. We did level something up. Okay, so I would say the majority of the time we're going to be less than half hit points. So we'll take the plus 20%, which is actually going to be huge. Um, don't know where we're going to put this other point. Let's just do scouting. All right, here we go. Suddenly, I don't feel so confident. That's 12 people in this tight square. I think we'll put a little distance here, see if we can find a better spot. That looks like a workshop, so it's probably a dead end. Okay. I think we can use the market. This is huge. Wow. 
That's pretty nice. Let's use this. If we can funnel them in a little bit. Yeah, they're stuck on each other. That's awesome. Right, let's go around the outside. Maybe we can catch the tail. Yeah, this guy's gonna. Yeah, I wonder if we can do that again. Catch the last guy, get him to turn around. Yep, yeah, there he goes. Wow. Good defense, my dude. Great defense. I'm not even mad. Okay, I think... There he goes. Alright, we're getting a little risky here. Probably tighten it up a little bit. We jump. We can. And then what we can do again. Go back out. This guy might even. Oh, here we go. Here's a solo brave man. Oh, that's not good. Alright, we're starting to wear him down here. It's a battle of attrition. Can we go around the outside and catch one on the back again? Yeah. Oh, there's seven left. Here we go. Got one. Oh, we got chambered. And they're going to catch us. Takers. Oh. Come on. All right, here we go. This guy will peel off. There we go. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Down to five. Stab him through this. All right, we don't want to get caught in there. Oh, we got a good hit on her. That's the one I'm worried about. She can catch us pretty quickly. We're gonna have to call this strategy the Jackie Chan. I feel like this is what Jackie Chan would do if he were in medieval times. He'd probably throw fruit at him too. Oh, we did it! We did it! This was huge. Look at this mess. We didn't mess up a single piece of merchandise. We just gotta clean blood up. Five renown. I'm not gonna complain about any of this. This is all good. Should be a huge haul. Let's see if we can make some money. A thousand bucks. That's alright. It's not terrible. Do they have a two-handed sword? This is Vlandia, so probably not. Yeah, they don't even have hardly any swords. Having as much trouble as I was hoping with the corners. <laughs> Die, you pig. Yeah. 
They're actually doing quite well. Alright, we got one. If we can get one, we can get eight. Ooh, that's a good hit. That's on the, the gang leader. There's two. There we go. Oh boy, that was close. Okay, we did it. That, I believe, is the last of that town. Right? I think we got all three. Yeah. So let's sell our booty. Thousand bucks. We're now just just shy of thirty grand. But we do need to buy some food, so that's gonna cut into our profits. All ten dinars of it. Alright, we're now in Jacqueline. We're gonna clean these these guys up pretty quick. That should be it. Right, only six of them here. We should be able to deal with six pretty easily. Now I don't know this town. I don't know if there's good spots. I mean, this is a pretty good spot right here. Run while you can. How we Jackie Chan last time? We can do it again. Though this one doesn't have a spot where we can jump in and out of as easily. Hmm. Might need to find a better spot. Or not. I think maybe we can just circle. Oh, we one tapped her. That was pretty good. We get some a little bit of luck on our side with knocking that guy down. can't say I'm upset that we're almost towards the end. This has been kind of a painful one to do, to be honest. I'd rather shoot looters from horseback than do... I don't know how many we did. I'll have to count. I think we probably did close to 20 of these things by now. Really good practice for your two-handed sword fighting. I guess you could probably do a similar thing with one-handed sword, but the problem is you don't have the, the reach. The reach on this two-handed sword is just hard to beat. Probably the only time we're able to do it. <laughs> Waiting for her to drop her guard. She didn't want to drop her guard and she just smacked me with her sword. Alright, let's try a different tactic here. Maybe not, maybe not missing our, sh our shot would help. Oh, she's good. But not good enough. Not good enough, my friend. Alright, here we go. This might be the last one or the second last one. My bird's starting to go crazy. I don't know if I can edit all that out. We'll see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not what I meant to do. Alright, so we're not in good shape health-wise. But I don't know if that matters. We're little Chad. Little Chad don't give a damn about none of that. Have a seat, my friend. Put the game, game, uh, boss on her. But we couldn't circle around to get it. The finish blow. Yeah, come around this way. Uh, 
Resilient, man. Resilient. That was a good block. Oh, that's not it. There we go. Got him with the overhand. Right, we did hit charm level 100, so that's pretty good. Alright, so technically we're at day 24. Check in the save file. So we're at day 24. We've got enough time to do maybe one more. Alright, this is an absolute death trap, so let's... I'm not even going to attack. Let's just draw him out. I mean, look at that. That's, that's as nasty as they get. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, Newton thought it was funny, too. We got stuck on a wheelbarrow. Uh, fortunately, it didn't cost us any time, so we can just go right back in. All right, note to self. Don't run into wheelbarrow handles. They will trap you. And I'll let you go. Let's get past the wood barrel. You got it. And look at this. To end it off, we got a tree. Uh, my absolute favorite. I love trees. Uh, the wrap around. Let's see if we can get some distance. Get him to wrap around the trees for us a little bit. Knocked him into the floor of the sky. Whoa. Oh, we... <laughs> he only had three health. That's funny. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, we're doing Chad things now. We're doing Chad things. Alright, we're in a good groove now. Oh, this person's stuck. Oh, that's... That's the boss. Oh, <laughs> Oh, she got one tap. She got one tap, right in the face. You shall not pass this one. Oh no, we got lazy. Oh no, we got lazy. Right at the end. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh boy. We could have had it. We could have had it all. We went to glory and we came up short. Alright, well, okay, let's do let's do a quick recap. So we hit level 100, athletics, 143, two-handed, and 100 charm. Uh, 16 medicine, that's strictly from healing up. Level 10 for our main character, so not bad at all. We did hit clan tier 1, so we could easily be a vassal. We actually could have done it a while back. I didn't realize we were that far ahead. And we also have a little over 31,000 dinars. So not a terrible way to start. We also gained a lot of relations. So if we look at clans of Batania, let's look at Batanian towns. Carbanseth. Who owns Carbanseth? So eight relationship there. Six. Six, ten, and six. And we'll do the same thing with the Blandia. So we got some relationship there. It's it's a pretty good way to start. It's very painful. I don't really recommend it. Maybe you can do a couple here and there. Uh, this would go really well with a smithing start because while you're resting in between waiting for the second part of the gang, that's where you can be recovering your stamina. So you could easily be doing some smithing in the meantime, 
maybe doing crafting orders each time you go to a new town, making stuff, selling it before you leave so you lighten your load, and just keep enough crafting materials so you can make more stuff. But yeah, that's it. I think uh, that was pretty successful.